Hi everyone, welcome to the Oswinds YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about how to select the right trumpet mouthpiece for you. Okay, just a little disclaimer first up, there's no rhyme or reason to how you should select a mouthpiece that suits you. Um, I can. This is just a general video, um, so it's whatever works best for you in the end, uh, but I will explain what works for most people. So uh, we're going to be talking about two areas mainly, uh, and that is depth, so the depth of the cup, and the width of the cup today. Um, for this I'll be using a Yamaha YTR335, which is the reverse lead pipe intermediate uh, model trumpet, uh, a brilliant trumpet. Uh, myself personally I have naturally bright sound um, and I use uh, quite big mouthpieces generally to counteract that. Uh, but today I'm going to be sticking for a three size rim for the depth test and I'm going to explain width in a second. So for those of you who are new to trumpet mouthpieces, uh, I'm going to be talking about depth first. So we're using uh, Vincent Bark mouthpieces to, for today's test, um, starting with a three. Now this is the uh, a deeper cup and we'll be going from 3 to 3B to 3C, 3D, 3E and 3F. So each time we go for a, a different cup size it's shallower. Um, shallower cups generally result in a brighter sound and probably a little bit more endurance in the higher register. It doesn't make you play higher. This is a very very common mistake for um, most people choosing a mouthpiece is they'll say a, a D cup will make you uh, play easier, higher register, but realistically it just makes it a little bit brighter. It might make it a little bit easier to do it for longer, is my only comment. Um, so let's start with a three and see how that sounds on this trumpet. This is a 3B. It's a little bit shallower. Little shallower again. getting a bit brighter, a little bit shallower again, a 3D. <laughs> 3E, a little bit shallower again. And now the shallowest of a lot, which is the 3F. It's a pretty much just a flat piece of metal with a hole drilled in it. It's, it's only about a fingerprint deep. So let's give this a go. Okay, so the quality of the recording, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but <clears throat> at least in the room, you can definitely notice the difference between the darkness of a, a 3 um, all the way down to the really bright sound of a 3F. The other thing that you, um, a lot of players are looking for is sort of like that improved upper register that I was talking about before. So now I'm just going to I'm just going to try and play um, the same scale up an octave, and we'll see how it um, it responds.
inhibit, you know, it didn't really affect my range at all. I didn't find it easier to play it higher on a 3F in comparison to a 3, but it definitely brighter. And maybe, um, I guess, I feel like even playing them all, that if I was doing it on a 3 all night, I might get a little bit tired a little bit quicker. Um, so it's more about endurance and the sound you want. Um, now I'm going to go over a few things with width. So let's start with a big mouthpiece. This is a 1C by Bach. This is uh, commonly used for orchestra players, I guess. Um, this is a, the, the widest mouthpiece that Bach make. And we're just going to test it with C cups, which is the middle cup that Bach make. Um, and I'm just going to play a little orchestral excerpt for you on each of these. Now on the 3C. Now on the 3C. And then I've picked for my last one a really small mouthpiece, very popular, uh, used by uh, jazz players and big band players, um, probably in the 60s or 50s. It's a ten and a half C. So once again, same cup depth, just a little bit smaller. To summarise um, the width discussion, uh, you really want to choose something that's appropriate for the style of music you're playing. Um, and it is also a comfort thing. I find bigger mouthpieces quite more, quite a bit more comfortable. Um, I play a variety of styles, so I, and I don't like switching too much. So um, for me, something between a one and a half to a two and a half, um, so, or even bigger one and a quarter, one C, um, works pretty well for me, uh, but anything smaller, I feel like um, I, I don't have as much endurance, um, and I, I really like to blow through the horn, so I need something big and open, um, and I do a lot of jazz and classical work. Um, now, somebody who's doing jazz exclusively might like a smaller mouthpiece. Um, most jazzers will play anything from a 1.5 to a 5C. Um, or shallower. Um, some will play a little bit deeper. I know that some people prefer the uh, 3B as a nice jazz all-round mouthpiece. Um, those who want to be a bit more flexible will choose something with a shallower cup, but that still enables them to get a, a dark sound or uh, even a bright sound if they if they want. So something around the C or D area. And commercial lead and Latin players will often choose a smaller mouthpiece for minimum resistance. Should you have any more questions about trumpet mouthpieces or trumpet gear in general, please do not hesitate to contact me at the shop at Melbourne Brass and Woodwind. We're located on 578 North Road in Ormond. Uh, our telephone number is 0395783677 and you can contact us through our website which is www.oswins.com.au. Thanks again and we'll talk to you next time. Please leave your comments below and I'm sure I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Thanks again. <laughs>